what's going on live this is cam the instructor from hollywood books barbie school and today we're gonna be talking about chapter 21 all right chapter 21 is the business of barbering so my all the students is at home y'all can check in y'all can subscribe to my youtube channel as well so for anybody who's thinking about doing a barbering school or joining a barbering school Guess what? I'm gonna be teaching it virtual. So you can sign up to a barber and get a barber license. And you ain't gotta ever leave your couch. That part. Alright. So uh we're gonna jump right into it, alright? So I'm on page seven seven fifty six in the great book. Alright. So we're talking about opening your own barbershop. So we at chapter twenty one, we almost at the end of the book. Alright? It's the end of the course. So opening your own barbershop. So you a student, you done went through barbering school, you done did all this. Now it's time to think about opening your own shop. All right, so we're gonna get right into it. Opening your own barbershop is a huge undertaking. Financial, physical, creative, and mentally, because you will face cha challenges that are complex and unfamiliar to you. Before you can open your doors, you need to decide what products to use and carry. Uh, what types of marketing and promotions you will employ, the best method and philosophy for running a business and creating a culture, and whom to hire if you need additional staff. All right, so that's a big part is, um, like, you got to have a business plan. Also, you got to create your brand, all right? So create your brand identity. So what is that? So you're trying to open up a barber shop, you're trying to get established in the barber world. You gotta have a brand. You just can't be out there selling haircuts. What's your brand? What's your name? I'm, I done had a couple of names. I'm Cam the Barber, Cam the Instructor, Lock King. You see what I'm saying? That's a brand. Like people know me, Hollywood Cuts. Like that's a brand that'll go. So everywhere I go, people know, oh, they don't call me. My real name is Cameron. Don't nobody call me Cameron. They gonna call me Cam the Barber, they gonna call me Lock King or Hollywood Cuts, you know, that's my brand, you know what I'm saying? So create you a brand, you ain't gotta get no tattoo, but create you a brand, you know what I'm saying, with your name on it or something. All right, what is your point of difference? Um, what is going to make a client want to visit your barbershop? Now you gotta sell yourself, like right. literally, you can't give them my business plan. You can't give them my strategy. It's not going to work for you. You know, my strategy worked for me. So you a barber or trying to get out there, you got to find your own strategy. What's going to get people to attract and come to you? All right? What are you selling? Every barbershop sells haircuts. Think beyond the obvious. Um, the obvious. So are you selling a luxury experience? A family-friendly environment? Or a cost conscious express service. All that good stuff. Alright. So next you gotta create a vision and mission statement for the business with goals. So just don't open a barbershop. What's the barbershop goals? Do you plan on having a big clientele, small clientele? You plan on opening the country or you gonna open in time? Like, you gotta have a business plan, mission statement. What's the vision statement? All right, you gotta have goals as well. So goals are an essential set of benchmarks that one achieve and help you to realize your mission and your vision. It's important to set realistic goals for both short-term and long-term goals. So back in chapter two and three, we talked about short-term goals and we talked about long-term goals. So a short-term goal for a barber would be something like finishing barber school. Barber school will take about a year. All right, that's an example. Um, a long term girl would be opening a barber shop. See what I'm saying? So you got to get the license. That's a short term goal. And a barber shop or a barber school, that's a long term goal. Okay? All
reason to lies or turn it down. She has to take. All right, so we talked about goals. All right, create a business timeline. All right, you got um from one year to 20 years. That's whether creating any business, whether it's a barbershop, a beauty shop, a restaurant, you got to have um, goals and a business timeline. So in one year, it could take up a year or more to determine and complete all of the aspects of starting the business. That means before you even go into business, you should be already planning the business before the doors even open. Like, it should have took some planning, maybe a year. All right? Um, determine the business fees, all that good stuff, and um, make sure you can afford the overhead. It's the funding available to you. Whether you got to get a grant to get this business or going, or you might take out a loan. All right? So that's another thing you need to put in your business plan. Whether you're going to take out a loan to start this business, or I'm going to pay cash. How this business going to run? What's going to fund this business? You see what I'm saying? I'm going to pay y'all cash. Is my clients going to fund the business? Like, you got to figure out what's going to fund the business. You just can't open up a business and don't know how the bills going to get paid. Can't open a business and don't know how the lights going to get paid, how the water going to get paid. There's a lot of stuff people don't look at. Um, they just look at, oh, it's a business. Oh, they got a barbershop. But you got to realize that, okay, the lights have to be paid. Water got to get paid. You got to have products. Like, it's the, all the stuff behind the scene that people don't look at. That's what you got to look at when you're trying to open a barbershop. That's why I feel like everybody's not built to open a barbershop. It's a lot of people that has license or whatever, but they're not built to run a shop. You see what I'm saying? They just Some people just built to work in a shop and not actually own the shop. Okay? Because you got to understand and know is that you know is that you if you have the qualities of actually running the shop taking the responsibilities of handling all the shop business and all that good stuff that's why sometimes you see a shop open and sometimes hey it, that barber may end up going to work for somebody because you weren't ready you know to actually be an owner sometimes you might just need to be a barber okay and just cut let me pay booth rent or a commission or however they're going to go. All right. Get a business name. Make sure you choose your name for your business. Um, make sure it influence how clients and potential clients perceive the business. All right. So your name will create a picture of your business and clients. Man. So that's why I named Hollywood, Hollywood Cooks, because we do Hollywood type haircuts. We do Hollywood type style. So our work go with the name. So when you come to Hollywood Cuts, you're gonna leave out like a new person. You're gonna be a new man. Literally a new woman. Like you getting the best of the best. So that's why the name Hollywood Cuts. It's not because I'm from California. It's not because I'm from LA. It's it the name goes with the type of work we do. Alright? So choose a name that goes along with with the type. If you exclusive cuts, you got to make sure you giving out exclusive cuts. If you chopped and fades, you got to make sure the chops are fades and all that good stuff. All right. Choose a location. Choosing location is wise. You will want to base your business location on your primary clientele and their needs. So select a location that has good visibility, high traffic, and easy access and sufficient parking and handicap access. So that was like, um, I like that, just high traffic. You gotta be like in a good traffic area um, to get clientele. You don't wanna be have a shop in a country where only two, three cars passing by. You know what I'm saying? Uh, only your clientele, only the people in that community probably gonna support you. You're not gonna have nobody coming from Memphis to go to a, a shop in the backwoods in the country. Nothing to have nobody coming from flying in from LA to go to a shop that's you gotta call all the stylists and be like, look, I'm over here by these trees, it's a road, GPS can't even pick it up. Nah. Bad spot. I get you some written agreements on um, documents, govern 
Um, the document should include the lease, vendor contracts, employee contracts, um, all that good stuff. So when something go left, you already got it wrote down. You know what I'm saying? All right. Develop a good business plan. All right. So before you even open, you need a business plan. So a business plan is a written description of your business as you see it today and as you foresee it in the next five years, detailed by year. That's a business plan, all right? So also check on your demographics, like what city you in, how much you can charge, what is your work, all right? I didn't got to a point where um, it really don't matter what city I'm, I'm gonna charge what I'm worth, okay? So I'm not gonna go to SARS and be like, well, Sorry, it's a small town. I'm just going to charge y'all 10. No, doc. You're going to pay me 40, just like everybody else, all right? You're going to pay me 100, just like everybody else. That's, like, you got to charge what you're worth, all right? So, but still, keep in mind, too, where you're at. You know what I'm saying? Don't get too overrated, all right? So, know the business regulation and laws, all right? Know all your laws of the state. Know your laws of the city. What can you do? What you can't do? Know your OSHA policies. All that good stuff. All right, moving on to page 760. All right. Barbershop operation refers to the ongoing recurring process or activities involved in the running of a business for the purpose of product, income, and value. All right. Make sure you do record keeping. Keep up your books. Know all your policies, okay? All right, so for today, we're going to start right there. We're going to pick it back up tomorrow and finish Chapter 21. So uh, right now, I'm going to review what we talked about. So we talked about pretty much opening a business and trying to get a business plan established. So the first thing we talked about was creating a business timeline, all right, from a year to 20 years. Um, choose a business name. Choose a business name that's going to, you know, reflect you and the type of work. Location. Make sure your business is in a good location, okay? Um, high traffic. That's where you want to go. Get you a business plan. Uh, make sure you got a good business plan. Also, create your brand and identity. That is the biggest thing. I already get you some hashtags. Create your name. Create your identity, post it every time, get your name, all right? Essie the Barber, Sean the Barber, Kevin Lee, Hara, something, anything, all right? So we're going to pick back up tomorrow, just um, the first part of chapter one, all right?